student loans. Well, your light bill, your Equinox gym membership, your renter's insurance, your down payment, your property taxes, your utilities, your college fund, and most importantly, your brothel bills. Yeah, I know you've been going to the red light district, but I am not going to tell your girlfriend, or am I? Bruh. Anyway, today we are going to check out Mr. Louis' luxurious lifestyle. He might have popped up on your feed lately, but if he didn't, he goes around basically asking um, bars what's the most expensive thing he could buy. Yeah, I know, pretty generic, basic influencer bragging lifestyle content, which hasn't gone boring in the last few years. Not even a single bit. Yeah. Oh. He does things a little bit differently, just as you saw in the beginning. Bragging about all of your basic expenses as his own little treatment, if you will. But let's get to the full picture, shall we? Of course, uh, he has a main channel, but it seems to me he also has some uh, food-related channels, which I'm going to blur out um, for obvious reasons. I think he has this channel as his own, running by himself or his associates, but nearly in every video he mentions himself, so I will let you figure that out. Anyway, on to the video. What's the most expensive beer you have? A Tesla Cyber Beer. How much is that? $800. I'll take it. Oh my goodness, so did Elon send this to y'all? Oh my goodness. What does it come with? It comes with two beers and two steins. A stein? What, what is a stein? Like a beer glass. Okay, that's pretty dope. The Tesla Stein. Yes, sir. All right, kind of look like the Cybertruck. There's the Tesla Cyber Beer. Oh my goodness. Cheers. I should probably taste it by itself, but can I do it in like a lagerita? All right. Oh, okay. Boom. Eight hundred dollar cocktail. Boom. Eight hundred dollar cocktail. Lime juice and triple sec. This is an expensive cocktail, bro. A little more lager, the good stuff. Where's the Casamigos in the, in the back? Oh, no, wait. I, I think you missed the drop. Uh, you missed the drop. There we go. Give it a nice shake. Cyber Chuck. Shout out to Pharrell. Shout out to Elon. All right. The Lagarita. You know, I like a little salt on my rack. The Cyber Stein. You feel me? Okay. Ooh, what is this white stuff? Salt. 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 Okay, salt. Good. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Okay. Oh, the oh, Tesla oh, rim. Oh, 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 oh. oh. What is this white stuff? I don't know. I, I have nothing to do with, with this. Come on, man. Ooh, look at this $800 cyber beer. Mm, looking like money, baby. Chop it with some more cyber beer. Hold on, be careful with that. That's expensive. All right, all right. One more drop. <laughs> <Just in case. laughs> Probably did a shot right before this shot. <laughs> Play a little lime wheel. Your tax refund. Ah, wealth. No. By the way, it's so funny to me that how he gets into the character, just put his right hand on his beverage, and with the left hand just goes, ah. Ah. <laughs> Do you think that he thought about it for days on how to do it, and even uh, researched the marketing psychology behind it? You know we gotta pour some out for the homies. I don't really want any of it. Why? 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 You know we gotta pour some out for the homies. Uh, just being wasteful. But I wish you could see the, the bartender's face from all his requests. What's the most expensive drink you got? A three gallon hurricane. How much is that? 275. 275? Hey, let me get it. Hold on, wait a minute. This is the cup? Is Hold on, wait drink. a minute. This is the cup? <sighs> drink water, kids. Go all in. The leader of Pat O'Brien's run. Wait a minute. The leader of Pat O'Brien's run. Okay, only here. Only in New Orleans. Woo, the whole bottle, you guys. We're not playing no games right here. 
That's what I'm talking about. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait, I think you missed a drop. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. After pouring an entire bottle, you are still complaining about a little drop? <laughs> two liters of rum, two liters of mix. Easy, easy. Have to be right? <laughs> Some cherries. No, you gotta have, you know, you gotta be healthy. It looks really tasty. The oranges, baby. Alright, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's do it, baby. Woo! Who wants to drink? Y'all want some drinks? Y'all want some drinks? Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Your daughter's prom dress. doesn't want to be there. Look at that face. Look at that man's face. That face tells you all. This man does not want to be there. The girl wanted some free shots and after she did uh, all the all acting that he asked for, it just... Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> like, come on guys, do we, do, we, do we really need to do that? <laughs> I'm watching my figure. for one, one tiny sip, and after that sip is gone, he will be dumping all it in the trash. What's the most of the popcorn you got? A billion dollar popcorn. For how much is it? $250 for a gallon. Let me get all of them. All of them. We got 20 back All right, let me get 20 of them. $5,000. This is so fake, man. Like, okay, the transaction went through, but it didn't show how much did it went through. And, of course, He's not gonna carry all these kilos of himself. Like, do you think that Mr. Lewis' luxurious life going to carry something in his hands? That's made for money. And I like money. No, that's perfect. All right, here goes a billion dollar popcorn. Sheesh. This is just brand promotion for the company. So why is this popcorn so expensive? I know it's got the gold and everything. We'll import some of the most expensive salt. Let me see this salt. Hold on, wait a minute. He's bringing out the kilos. Hold on a minute. What, this is salt? Are you sure this is salt? Okay. Ooh, what is this white stuff? Oh, salt. 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 Okay, salt. Good. Yeah. Sure it's salt. Hey, bust it open. Let me taste All it. Right. All right. Looks familiar. Oh, my goodness. Let me taste this. Yeah. Let me give y'all... Approved. Your 401k. Well... Shameless. What's the most expensive dessert you got on the menu? 24 karat gold popcorn. How much is that? <laughs> Damn! For dessert? Can you afford that? I'm wealthy, <laughs> let's get it. Rating the most expensive dessert at Salt Bay's restaurant. Can you afford that? You little broke boy. <laughs> like if you're a broke boy, just say so. Okay. <laughs> Can you afford that? You little broke, 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 broke <sighs> Oh my goodness, what is this? This is the, the baklava? baklava? Oh no. Man, I didn't order all this. I'm not paying for that. Hold on. I just ordered one piece. I can't afford that. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Hold on, wait a minute. That's the gold one? Wow. It literally says you can't 24 afford it. 24 karat gold? Gold milk ice cream. Okay. Gold milk ice cream? Gold milk ice cream. Oh, she's flipping it and reversed it. Oh. Oh my god, it's like an ice cream gold. Oh, you hear that crunch? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. By the way, have you seen that little dude? He does the same but a little more flashy. Like he um, holds the fork and the uh, knife spins around. Here's the clip. Super rare. Yeah, I mean, salt based presentation, not that good compared to this little dude. Hey, hey nah, bro, we're not doing all that. We're not, we're not doing all that. Nah, nah. Yeah, I appreciate that. Ain't nobody feeding my wife or my girl or, I don't know, some paid actor that I hired so I can show my girl.
But we're gonna be rating the 24 karat gold baklava, one through 10. Hey, I'm doing brutally honest. They ain't paying me for this. I'm paying for all this, all right? So I'm giving you a real opinion. Let's go. He doesn't even eat anything. He just melted on the plate. So at first, I didn't know what the hell a baklava was. I was like, is it a balakava? Is it a ski mask? They robbing over here? But you know, I'm all about the taste. So let's get into the taste. Okay. Get a little bit of that fresh ice cream over there. Really fresh. The goats. Salt Bay. The crispiness. The layers, it's levels to this baby. Just the right amount of sweetness. I was afraid it was gonna be a little bit too sweet. The goat milk ice cream, but compliments the baklava. Of course the gold got me feeling luxurious. It got me feeling like Biggie back in 95. The pistachio was fresh, it must be organic. I'm gonna have to give this one, even though I don't like dessert, it's brutally honest. I'm gonna give it a nine. Now, is this worth $60? No, Hell no. I'm Unless you're trying to video boy. this for Instagram or for social media or TikTok or try to impress a date or something. However, they do have a, the regular version, which is $24, which I, I recommend just go ahead and get in that one. Okay, $60 for a baklava, let's be real, it's not worth it. But I mean, if you go to some uh, expensive influencers, um, restaurants, what are you gonna expect? Your doctor copay. <sighs> Wealth. He even has the audacity in the end to compare the wealth of his own to you. But, you know, <laughs> he's a little brokey. <laughs> Come on, if you're a broke boy, just say so. What's the most expensive drink you got here? Whistle Pig, the Boss Hog. Like how much is that? 130. 130 a shot? Yes, sir. All right, let me, yes, sir. let me get one. Actually, is that Scotty ATL? What's up, man? Hey, bro, hey, listen. Hey, if I buy you a shot, I can get a free grill? Nah. Hey, they, I, I get an interview up real quick, though? I got you on the interview. Ooh, the boss hog whistle pig. All right, all right. What's this? Whiskey? Right, baby. All right, all right. Yeah, doesn't feel sketchy at all. Damn, ain't nobody ordering this, huh? No. Just you, brother. Just you, brother. I ain't gonna lie on me. I'm kind of short on tips. So could you spare me a little? $250 shots. So let's do it. I don't get no special, no gloves or nothing with it. All right, I guess. <laughs> just, just pouring it straight, all right. No gloves or anything? <laughs> he does not sound excited. Like, he could, you, you could, uh, you could, uh. <laughs> yeah, right you know what I'm saying? Hold on, wait, uh, wait a minute, I think he missed a drop. Oh, yeah, yeah. There, there we go. go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, all right, we gotta get it all. Get it all. Okay, overpour. Okay, I see you trying to get a tip, huh? Oh, yeah, that's all you're here for. Yeah, what do you expect? He's a bartender. You are in America! This all you right here, brother. Check it out. You know, I appreciate the service and everything. You did a good job, brother. Exactly. 5000 for you, bro. Yes, sir. I'm gonna go quit my job right now. Hey, clock out, bro. Clock, clock out. out, man. Taking this shirt off. Thank you. <laughs> Shout out to this guy. I love this guy. Th this man is the most bartender bartender I have ever seen. <laughs> Your divorce settlement. <sighs> well. <sighs> Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Let's make a hundred dollar cup of coffee. Let's do a pumpkin spice base. I'm all organic and vegan, so I need the best product. Now add like 10 shots of espresso. All right, let me do all the syrups. How many syrups do you have? Peppermint, peppermint too. Let's do peppermint. You want chai? Let's do some chai. You want mocha too? Yeah, let's do double mocha. This poor Starbucks yeah, employee. <laughs> Her day on the first job just goes with, oh, can I order everything on the menu? <laughs> oh yeah, what is that? So we have toppings. Uh, you want yeah, let's do some toppings. You want, like mocha juice or caramel or something? Yep. Like any cold foam on top? Yeah, let's do cold foam. So which cold foam? Because we have the vanilla sweet cream. Salted caramel. Let's do all of them. Have okay. Salted yep. And how much are the espresso shots? $3. Okay, let's add 50 espresso shots. So you add 60, 50. Like 20 more espresso shots? So yeah, 83. 83, okay, all right. We have olive oil. Olive oil, let me do like $10 worth of olive oil. Who the hell? Who the? 
olive oil in your coffee. Yeah, 93. 93, okay, let me just do uh, seven more espresso shots. Okay, there we go, all right, let's do it. <laughs> nah, you don't deserve no tip. I'm a brokey boy, you don't deserve no tip. I was just messing with you, thank you for being so kind, this is, this is for you. <laughs> thank you. Is this the most expensive drink you ever made? Probably, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Woo! I don't know how all that espresso gonna fit in that cup. I think y'all ripping me off. Yeah, Starbucks is ripping you off. Daily basis. But I mean, aren't you ripping your viewers off? All right, so here comes that coconut foam. You know, I'm, I'm vegan, so we gotta be healthy around here. Caramel. Caramel, that's enough, that's enough. I'm trying to watch my figure, bro. Yeah, your figure that includes a one pack only. <laughs> Apple drizzle, this is new, right? Yep. Okay, Starbucks, a little chocolate up in there. Spice. Pumpkin spice, apple spice, pumpkin. Hey, appreciate that, bro. I don't think it's gonna fit on there. Wait, uh, you know what? Just push, smash it down. Oh, look at that. Your coach bag. Well, I'm trying to live. I don't need no diabetes. Come on, man. Like, of course you are pouring it out so people can chat about you and get angry with you, but come on, man! Oh. Like, I don't like kindness influencers, but I mean, you could give it to something else. To a charity, to, to anyone else. Man. What is the most expensive liquor you have in here? The $130 shot of Boss Hog. Let me see that. Ooh, okay, let me taste that. Let me get that. Ooh, nice. Do a lot of people, oh, this is a whistle pig. Do a lot, oh, hold on, wait a minute, okay. Uh-oh. This is serious. The boss hog, you know I'm a boss. Wow, look at this, what is this on top of there? That's the boss hog. All right. How much is this a shot? $130 a shot. 130 Can I get a discount? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Damn. Serious? Watch this pour. I make sure I get every drop. Yeah, that's for sure. No gloves or anything. Oh! Wait a minute! Wait! 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 I actually, I think you missed a drop. <laughs> oh, I think you missed. Sure. Okay. There you go. There we go. Uh, now I would take it slowly. Smell the aromatics. Okay. Make sure I'm just gonna shoot it back. I'm rich, I'm just gonna shoot it back. What's the most expensive drink you have here? Macallan 25. Macallan 25, and how much is that? Okay, let's do it. Wow, 25 years old? This is almost as old as me. What's the most expensive drink you have here? Old man, Rick, can we go? Can we go? How much is it? $600 a shot. Okay, let me do it. Can I smell it? Mmm, smell like old money. I know you got to be in the band, Rico Meat, but can I do it like a zombie? Really? A $600 cocktail. Mmm. All right, Van Winkle. Wait, huh? I think you missed a drop. There we go. A little bit of dark rum up in there. A little bit of pina. Okay, I like breadfruit. Cinnamon syrup? Cinnamon syrup. Okay, that's different. Grenadine, okay, I don't know what that is. You know, I used to have this for sure. Chuck was a kid. Alright? Six hundred dollar. Six hundred dollar. <laughs> oh, that's going in the video, buddy. <laughs> Six hundred dollar cocktail, guys. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Van Winkle. Ten year. Look, Gerardo Terry. Oh, wow. Look at that. How can you, how can you be the camera girl with this stance? <laughs> okay, Mr. Lewis Lux, it's, it's good. Whatever you do, do not drop it. <laughs> I said, what the hell is that? <laughs> what is that nose ring? <laughs> well. Well, ah, oh, ah. <laughs> hey, what's the most expensive thing you got on the menu? How much is that? Let me get 10 of them. Okay, what's the total? Uh, 7 dollars with $7.90, that's it? Open up the fresh caviar, look at that. Ooh. Look at that, $80 caviar sandwich. I need every drop, brother. Oh, wait a minute, I think you missed a drop. Perfect, there we go. <laughs> 
<laughs> she's not even done with the caviar. Look at that, fresh out the oven. Or fresh out the fryer. Okay, what is that? <laughs> Chili oil, okay. Hey, don't be trying to steal the ingredients, y'all. Copyright. And what type of cheese did you say this was? American cheese. Wow, uh, spices. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing with the potato bread. Oh, yes. Oh, it goes to the oven after that. Damn, if I'd be a chef, I'd be disgusted if this man stood next to me while I was making okay, this sandwich. I couldn't even spit in it. Ooh, $800. Oh, there's the other ones right there? Okay, thank you. Your speeding tickets. Well. <laughs> that cutting was so bad. <laughs> okay, he just goes with... And... In two completely other shots. Your speeding tickets. Well. Your speeding tickets. Well. Hey, excuse me, can you pull over real quick? You hungry? Yeah. You want some food? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Here you go. Thank you. God bless you. You're welcome. Thank you. Happy Halloween Thank to you. you looking good. God bless you. Hold on, wait. You know what? Get yourself some groceries too. Thank you so much. You're God welcome. Bless you. God bless you too. Ah, uh, such a good man. He even feeds the homeless instead of pouring it out and wasting it on completely useless things, overpaying it. Uh, I mean, I get it. Like, you can only do so much with the attention of um, Gen Z people, but. Seriously, grabbing all the uh, and you, and you implementing that you are a changed man. It's completely a marketing tactic. Let's be real here. Also, he started doing most expensive foods just to see how the market is there, and apparently street reviews that are really believable. What you do for a living? All right, I'm a comedian. I'm not sure, like, if you're one of the top comedians out there, or whatever. <laughs> I know I, we got a lot of New York comedians. I just heard of you, so oh, no, um, don't do that. How much money do you make a year? No, I'm not answering that because you're rude. You're rude as. F I, I, that's what I do for a living. I ask people how much money they make. It. How much money no, do you? No, no, are you no, broke? No. Are you brokey? A brokey boy? Like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. <laughs> this joke is way past due to being funny, but it's funny to me. Oh. You see my outfit? I recognize you. You be sitting up here violating and asking people personal f***ing questions. I used to like tell me how much money you make. So. It doesn't matter. I make more money than you. How about that? With your bum I want to know how much you make. Yeah, how much you make a one month? Oh, a month? I'm pulling a million a month. You ain't pulling no damn million. You a f***ing liar. Yeah, what that say right there? I had to say three dollars. Oh! oh. She's, he's in the negative. Yeah. But <laughs> negative three. Negative three. <laughs> well, I mean... I'm a college kid, so, uh, yeah. What do you do for a living? I'm a lawyer. How much money do you make a year? $300,000. 300 k Yeah. Where do you live? New York. Do you rent or do you own? I rent. How much is rent over there? I pay $4,000. 4K! What's your credit score? 780. Is this an interrogation? What do you do for a living? How much taxes do you pay this year? What's your social security number? How much money is in your checking account right now? I don't want to say. Can I guess? Yeah. 20000 Really? Less or more? More. Okay, all right. So what's the worst part about being a lawyer? The billable hours. Oh, that's the worst part for you? Yeah, that's everything. Uh, what's the most overrated luxury brand? Laura Piana. So if you can hang out with a rapper for a day, what rapper are you hanging out with? Why do they ask the same things? Like, how do you go from what do you do for a living and what kind of rapper would you choose a day to spend with? So I think Jay-Z. Jay-Z, okay, Hov. Why, why are we going with Hov? Why Hov? He married Beyonce. I want you to rate my outfit on a scale from 1 to 10, right? But be brutally honest. What am I getting? 15. Woo! <laughs> I had enough of this the cocktail presentation to me it looked very regal when it first came out but then my friend was like hold on hold on hold on hold on he has a rich tattoo but <laughs> he has a money bag right on his <laughs> no no he doesn't come on he has a money bag tattoo <laughs> Make it till you make it, some say. Well, he got where he wanted, and then bought all the things without being fake, and showed the bills. So remember kids, you can get where you want, you just need to start. With me making this video, with you getting to somewhere in your life. And remember kids, 
drink water with the little pinky up. Ah, wealth. 